Hey everyone, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today to be showing you Spellbinder's new small die of the month for February 2019. And this month is a super versatile die. It's got lots of accoutrement dies, so let's just go ahead and show you all of those now. Those word dies there say spring and greetings. You get this really cool border die type deal, and then all of these little dies that you can use uh, for paper piecing on your border die. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can use this die. The first one that I'm going to do is a partial die cutting technique. So I'm going to use my Spellbinders Platinum die cutting machine, Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And I'm going to go ahead and center that on the top portion of a piece of cardstock. I'm going to switch the plates because I'm going to be cutting this facing up. So I'm going to use my top plate or what is normally my top plate on the bottom. I'm going to turn the cardstock around so that the die is facing up. And then I'm going to use my cut plate or what is normally my cut plate on the top. This way, when the die cutting machine cuts the die, because it's facing up, it will cut it onto my cut plate. I'm going to hang off the edge that would cut this off completely. So that bottom portion there, that's going to cut the entire die from the paper, I'm going to leave hanging off of the die cutting machine and the plates. And this is so when you remove the die, it's intact with that cardstock. I'm going to use my tool in one just to make sure I get all of the pieces out and then you get this really cool border at the top of your cardstock. You can use that on a card front or it can be your card front and allow you to see through the inside to the card. There's also this really cool feature where the butterfly wings uh, you can sort of like poke them up so there's some dimension there. I also used this with an embossing mat on my die cutting machine and it embossed that image beautifully into the cardstock. So this is just a couple ways that you can use the die and I want to be honest with you guys, I did not realize for a very long time that this was the intended purpose of the card until I looked at it a little bit further. Uh, but this is another way that you could use the die just sort of as like a lacy overlay or something to close in your card front. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So I just wanted to show you a photo of something that I created with it using it in the way that it's intended to be used. But I'm just going to go ahead now and get into the way that I used it for this video. I went ahead and cut it out completely from a piece of cardstock and colored in the pieces respectively. I also popped up the wings there for dimension and used those additional dies to paper piece onto my, or a couple of the flowers. I think there was about four that I used. So I'm now going to go ahead and create my background for this card. So I'm going to take a piece of watercolor cardstock and then some low tack painters tape and paint, I'm sorry, tape it uh, to a board. And this makes it easy so that I can pick up the board and move the colors and the water around if I need to. So now I'm going to go ahead and start my painting. I am using the Altenew watercolor paints and these are the paints in the pan. I'm going to first put clean water, all over my card front and this is so that I have a wet on wet look for my background. I took some of the colors there over on the right and just put them in the mixing portion of the palette or at least what I'm using as the mixing portion of the palette and I just used the colors themselves. I didn't really add any other colors to those, uh, these are super vibrant. So I have to add a lot of water if I want to dilute it, but I used a very sunset palette feel. So I'm first doing a yellow. I'm going to go into a pink and then work my way up to a darker purple color. And I'm going to do this a couple times and make sure that I let them blend all in together. I don't want it to look harsh or like a sun and then the colors in the sky are radiating from the sun. I just sort of want it to all look 
like one cohesive background or color that just gets darker as it moves up. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and apply the watercolor a couple times, but I am going to dry it in between, and this just gives me a better idea of what it's going to look like at the end. To remove the painter's tape and make sure I don't tear any of the cardstock, I'm going to pull the tape back onto itself. So I sort of just fold it over onto itself and then pull it easily down from there. And this makes sure that I don't get any tears in my cardstock. I have a little bit of warping, but I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to go ahead later and adhere it to my card base with foam tape. And that really helps all of the warping to sort of work itself out. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this with foam, a piece of foam or craft foam. So how I'm going to do that is die cut the same die out of this craft foam. And I'm going to cut out these butterfly wings because I'm afraid that I'm not going to get it adhered perfectly. And I'm going to leave those butterfly wings up for a dimension anyway. So I don't think it's necessary that I have foam behind them. So after I'm done doing all of the trimming, I'm going to adhere the die cut to my craft foam die cut. And to do that, I'm using my art glitter glue with the very fine tip that is available for you to add onto it. And this allows a really fine dispensing of glue so it doesn't overpower it. And then I'm just gonna take a moment to finagle it all around and make sure that it lines up perfectly and that you don't see any of the craft foam peeking out from behind the uh, paper die cut. Again, using my art glitter glue, I'm going to adhere or put the glue onto the entire back of my die cut, making sure to get all of those little pieces. I don't want anything uh, coming up or pulling at the die cut itself to make it unadhere from the cardstock. And I'm going to adhere it to the bottom of my uh, cardstock or card front there. And you can see, obviously, I use this in a horizontal orientation because I wanted to make sure I got the entire die cut on there. I didn't want to trim any pieces off because it's so pretty. And I just wanted to make sure that the entire uh, die cut was being shown. I wanted to bring together the black of the butterfly somehow, so I ended up using a very tiny, thin uh, sentiment strip with black cardstock, and this is a Simon Says Stamp sentiment that says, you grow through what you go through, and I thought that it was just really fitting for the image of the die cut. So this is the final card. I hope that you've enjoyed learning how I used the small die of the month for February. As always, all of the links to the products are in the description, as well as a link to the Spellbinders die of the month page so that you can read up on it and get a little bit more familiar if you are not. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.